Hey guys, in this video, I'll be explaining on how to consolidate data in LibreOffice Calc. So for doing this, we'll be following the set of instructions in a step-by-step -step manner so that the concept becomes very much clear to you guys. To start with, open your LibreOffice and then choose a new Calc spreadsheet. Now enter the data into the Calc spreadsheet as directed here. To consolidate any kind of data, we need a series of ranges available. So for doing that, in the first instruction, they're asking us to add two new worksheets into the file and then modify the data of all three quarters. So click on the add button two times to add two more worksheets and then copy the data or the content that's available in sheet one by using Ctrl plus C and then paste it in the sheet two and sheet three. Now after that, they're asking us to further modify the data of all the three quarters, which basically means the marks that are secured by the students in quarter one, quarter two and quarter three of sheet one should not be similar to sheet two and sheet three. So for doing this, delete all the marks that were secured by the students in sheet two do the similar process in sheet 3 as well and delete all the marks that were secured by the students. And then enter your own set of marks for the above ranges. Now once you're done entering a new range of marks for sheet 2, do the same process for sheet 3 as well. Select the range and start entering your data. Now we have three sheets with unique ranges such that all the three quarters is different for each of these sheets. And then the second step, they're asking us to rename all worksheets like sheet 1 into 2018, sheet 2 to 2019 and sheet 3 to 2020. So simply click on that particular sheet, right click it and click on rename sheet. Then enter the specific name and click on OK. Do the same process for the above mentioned sheets. Now with this, we have three unique sheets with different ranges available with us. To consolidate the data, let's add one more worksheet into our workbook where we'll be performing the actual task. So now in the third step, let's create one more worksheet and rename it as consolidated worksheet. So simply click on the add button for this and then rename that particular worksheet into consolidated worksheet. Now the final step is where we're going to do the actual consolidation for this. First, take all the common columns such as serial number, names and then they're asking us to use the sum function to add the data of the sheets 2018, 2019 and 2020. Now once you're done typing in the columns and the respective data, you can start to consolidate the data. However, it's suggested to first define the ranges that are to be consolidated and then start consolidating. Simply select the group of cells for which you wish to define a range and then in the name box, type in the desired name. Do the above process for all the ranges that are to be consolidated. Another way in which you can define ranges is to simply select the cells. This time go to Data's tab and then click on Define Range. This opens up a dialog box where you can type the desired name and then click on OK. Now you can do consolidation even without defining ranges. However, when you define the ranges, it becomes much more easier. Now go to the Data tab and click on Consolidate option. Here you can see that by default it's always consolidating the data using the sum function. Now start entering the source data ranges. Here since we have already defined the ranges, you can simply click on that particular range and then click on add button. Do this for all the three ranges. Under the copy results to section, you need to simply specify the range where you wish to insert the consolidated data. So for this, you can simply select them using your mouse and you can see that only one specific cell is indicating here. And the entire range is specified with one specific cell then you can go ahead and click on ok and the consolidated data appears in that specific target location this way you can consolidate the data in libreoffice calc before i bring this video to an end i wish to discuss one more important point that might help you now you know how to define a range sometimes you might want to delete the range as well like suppose here i have a column known as range one but in case if i don't want this range then i can simply go ahead and click on the down arrow and within the manage names you can go ahead and click on the delete option. This is delete range one and you'll see that the range is completely deleted now. I really hope you found this video useful. Thank you.